We're back at it, we're back at Kmart, and I'm gonna show you all the new items they have in for spring. Of course, I'll show you the home goods, but we've got some fashion bits and beauty bits to show you as well. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave here today so you don't miss any of my future Kmart shop with me's and you don't miss any of the new items out at Kmart. Let me know if Kmart is your favorite store by giving this video a big thumbs up. They don't usually have furniture at the front of the store, but of course, that's where we're starting. This particular Marley Lounge chair is $1.49, and I know the whole collection has been very popular online. The front of the store was beautifully styled, of course. There wasn't a whole lot of new pieces in this particular section, but I did find this rattan jewelry box. I wanted to make sure that I showed you the measurements, but it has six different compartments. I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, but the Makina quilt cover set it comes in the two different colors and I will admit as beautiful as it looks it doesn't feel very nice. I did include all of the different prices as you can see on the screen there. If you guys have seen my last Kmart haul I did pick up this candle holder. It's made of resin and they also happen to have made it in this. It's like a candle holder still but it's more of a tray for your table. I did notice while I was in store that they had some new pieces in the same resin design but they're just tea light holders, but I think they're very cute. Those resin tea light holders are only $6.50 and I did see some new cushions in store. These ones were $14 and they had more of like a waffle type feel to them. The Australiana type floral design that I'm showing you here for $9.50 is so soft. One of the softest pillows I've probably ever felt from Kmart. Along with that black and white waffle cushion is this throw that comes with it, a matching set. That one's $16. We have lots of events coming up, so I wanted to have a look at some serving pieces. And I saw they had this rectangle serving stand with gold look handles. That one's 21, and I thought it was beautiful. For all my coffee loving fans out there, we have a six cup espresso maker that I saw. I'm pretty sure it's new in stock, but don't quote me on that. That bad boy is $12. You guys may have already seen in store that they have these five piece food storage sets. I am going to show you what the individual pieces look like that they had on the shelves because they are great lids. They really are airtight and they have some new bamboo pieces in store as well. So I saw that they've done an eight piece bamboo lid food storage set and that one's only $20. I think there's a couple of reasons as to why you're getting a couple more containers for less money. The containers are quite small, four of them five of them I should say. There's two that are really quite small, three that are medium and I'm not discounting these lids because they are airtight. It was a bit of a struggle to get the lid off which is a good thing in my opinion. Plus they look so pretty and they're stackable. They are very aesthetically pleasing but the white and clear lids are better. They are more airtight. I noticed they had this three-tier bamboo pantry shelf which I think would actually look great even on a countertop. That one was $21. And some new pieces I personally picked up was these clear containers. They have the white ones to the right there for $3.25. But I picked up a few of these, which instead of using for my fridge or for my pantry as they're designed for, I've popped them in my laundry to hold some of the little bits in there. But for only $3, how can you go wrong? There are so many new storage pieces actually in the kitchen section. I'd seen these ones before, but I hadn't shown them on any of my videos. So I thought I'd show you guys now. This is kind of like a magazine holder, but a little bit shorter. Kmart has been loving the bamboo pieces for the kitchen lately, I've noticed. And this cutlery tray is genius. I've seen it on Amazon before, but it's expandable. That way you're just maximizing the space in your drawer and you don't have that awkward bit on the side that you can't use. Both the expandable cutlery tray and this bamboo turntable is $21. I think it's a great idea for like baby bottles, things that you wouldn't want falling out of a Lazy Susan, but I personally think that the sides are too big for my personal liking. I was looking for some bathroom organization pieces and I was caught off guard by how cool some of these mirrors were. A lot of them were LED, in fact all the ones I'm going to show you are, but there was the trifold LED mirror, this beautiful white one, that flip lid mirror if you can see it that I quickly skim past would be great for travel. There's, of course, their bamboo piece because Kmart's obsessed with bamboo. And I've noticed these two draw narrow bamboo storage containers. And I just wanted to pull it apart because it, the box is already open. And one of you actually mentioned in my last video that if it's open, can I actually have a proper look at it? The containers are quite thin, but they are sturdy. They had this small Hollywood mirror, which makes me think they did a large Hollywood mirror either at some point or they're going to. 
This was one of the more affordable mirrors that I saw. It was only $11. The difference being between this and the other LED mirror I showed you before was instead of being strips of lights, it's just circles of lights. This is actually meant to be for makeup, bathroom, storage, things like that. But I think it would be great for some art supplies. Really, these could be used for so many things. And the whole series of these is like a modular. So that's the modular three drawer storage for 25. I did also think that this was a great price to get a set of four clear Organizers with lids for $7.50 was great, but even better, someone had it already opened a packet. So I thought, why not pull it out to show you guys exactly what they look like. The website didn't say this had just landed. However, I haven't seen this particular aroma diffuser and there was only one review on the website. So I'm going to say it's new. Something that did catch my eye and is definitely new is this four set of tea light candle holders. They're $6 and they have the beautiful gold rim around it. I noticed this pendant shade was on clearance for $19. I bet it's because all these pieces keep breaking because I've seen that in the, like the clearance section of my particular store before. I thought this lamp was beautiful. I like the texture design of the actual lamp itself and then the muted color of the shades quite nice. If you saw my last shop with me, you know I was looking for this flow lamp. It is new in store. It's $27. I'm glad that they have one on display that I could see for myself because it was a lot thinner than I was hoping for. I was hoping the shade portion would resemble somewhat more of a mushroom. I did have my hopes up for this lamp, but that's okay. I'm glad they had it on display and I didn't get caught out. I noticed that this bamboo file organizer was $9 on clearance, which makes me think it's not coming back. They had some new planners in store. These are particularly undated planners, so you put the dates in yourself. I think that's such a great idea. And I got this particular color and I got it in black as well for Dylan. I really hope they keep the undated planner as something ongoing throughout the years. I think it's a great idea. I got a journal that was just like this, but mine had cockatoos on it. Another new piece they had in was this weekly desk planner, which I think is great. It'll keep you accountable and it'll keep reminding you throughout the day to drink your water. I recently got this notebook as well. It's just a plain notebook. I think it would be really smart for your groceries or your shopping because it's got this zip at the back where you can put your receipts in. They also do it in black. If you guys have seen this Kmart home planner before, it's on clearance, so it's only $4 at the moment. If you find a lot of benefit from this, go stockpile on them now because I can't imagine this particular one will be coming back. I do hope they do one, but if you are after a great quality one, Steph Pace Planners has some great products. However, if you're just starting out with a home planner or you're not sure if you're gonna actually use it, this would be a great idea to grab for yourself and see if it actually helps you, benefits your life, and makes it more organized, because that's the whole point, isn't it? It's just to make our day better and run smoother. I wanted to have a look at some of the new beauty pieces they had in, and some of these things are not new. Like, I don't think this one in particular is new, but I haven't seen it before. And I have seen the cosmetic fridge before. They call it a cosmetics cooler, but I hadn't seen it in the pink, and I don't even think the pink color is particularly new, but I'd never shown it on my channel. So if you haven't seen it, they are so cute, but they do create a lot of condensation. I haven't seen these lights before though, and I'm thinking what a great idea to like DIY around a really cheap dresser or in your bathroom. I'm going to show you guys through some of the spring pieces that they had in Kmart at the moment, and a few of them are out already, but I know there's a lot to come. So I am going to film a spring try on haul for you guys, a full in-depth of all the range that I can find in store at my particular store. If you're interested in seeing that, make sure you're subscribed and your notification bell is turned on so you know when it actually comes out. I'm actually really interested to see what Kmart does for spring because I feel like the last few seasons, especially after everything that happened in the last few years, they've just been like struggling to keep up with the seasons. The stock that seemed to be coming in was from last season and I get it. We're all trying to adjust to the, to the new life that we're in and things are pretty much only going back to normal here in Canberra now. They had so many cute new pajamas in. They had the whole Snoopy range. They had some Bugs Bunny ones. They had socks to match and slippers. So while I show you through these, you will have to forgive me for the couple of pieces that I forgot to get the price of. And although I looked online, if you yourself have shopped online at Kmart, it's just horrible. As soon as you put something into your cart, it'll tell you that it's not actually even in stock. The prices are all wrong if you can even find the price of things. I'm actually looking for some spring pajamas for myself. Usually I would just wait and keep wearing my winter ones or start wearing my summer ones, but we're supposed to be having a lot of rain this year throughout spring and summer. This particular daisy set was something I wanted to get, but it felt horrible, guys. It looks so cute, but yeah, 
The $4 pair of shorts you see there felt so much nicer. And this one for me, I'm only talking to my dog today. These slip 90s actually felt really nice and they had heaps of new licensing in store. Like I said, the Bugs Bunny and the Snoopy, but heaps of Mickey Mouse and of course Tweety Bird. I noticed they had some new bras in stock as well with the matching underwear. So you can get a full set for $14, which is just great. I'm loving the peach vibe that they're going for for this spring. I can get behind that. I can't really get behind these hair clips because maybe it's just me. I couldn't style these to save my life. But I wanted to thank you guys so much for spending this time I with me. I appreciate you all more than you know. And while I show you these last few pieces, including these adorable thumper slippers, which were on clearance for only $10, by the way. But yeah, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.